yeah. Yeah! It's all coming together now. A collab idea would be pretty ep- Uh, did you fall asleep? Ugh. I know it's hibernation season, but I didn't think you took the whole bear boy stuff to, like, furry levels. Yo! Oh, did I fall asleep? Yeah, and while I was brainstorming. Rude. Sorry about that one, Nolan. <laughs> I guess these late nights of working on videos are finally starting to catch up with me. <laughs> but if it does make you feel better, I had this wild dream. Debatable nightmare. But we did do this crazy collab together. I can't remember everything, though. We got to talk about Sonic. The Tails doll was there. That also involved me somehow losing the kidney. The Tails doll? Yeah, a lot of weird, crazy stuff happened. But there was this party and a bunch of people were there to see you dance. Salty, Saber Spark, Jake Neutron, and hey, even you were there, Izzy. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm more shocked at the Nolan dancing part. Give me your cafe punch card and I'll do it right now. Uh, yeah. He never said the dancing was good. So thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh it up. My dancing's a joke. But you know what's not a joke? Dreams! But they're only as much as you choose to do with them. So, Come on. why don't we hey, settle on a damn a video idea already? Tug. Weren't you paying attention? Sounds like he wants to do something Sonic related. Or having his kidney stolen. Oh, he did say that. Uh, I'm going to go clean the back and close the rest of the cafe by myself. Perfect. Works for me. I like the way you dream, Jonathan, my boy. Mmm, Wedge is, Wedge is fine. <laughs> Wedge what? I'd prefer anything else but my first name, as it reminds me of... John! Please wait. At least think about the kids and their feelings. I'll take my son, and you take yours. Feelings are for the weak. But why? They're both your kids, John. Damn it, Tina! That boy is not my son! <clears throat> Nothing. Uh, let's just go with something else. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. Uh... No worries, BB. Hey, uh, what, let's say we call it a night. Me and Izzy should probably start closing up shop before the snow starts really coming down soon. But maybe we can meet up tomorrow and get the show on the road? Bold of you to say you're contributing, Nolan. You know what, Izzy? What? I'm always bending over to help you with the shop. Bending over? That would require you to get off your ass for once. Okay, oh, I guess I'll let you two do your thing I'll catch you tomorrow. Later. Looks like it's gonna be one of those nights, huh? Wishing you were still down here. Even though this prison exists on the other side, it remains connected. Bound by an endless sea that is the link between this apocalyptic future and a promising past. It's the way you came in, so it makes sense, in theory, that it could be your exit point. You just expect me to buy that you've been sitting here on your ass all this time, waiting for a guy like me to wash up here and save the day? Why can't you do it if it's that easy? I have tried, but I don't get to control fate, nor do I get a say in what it decides. I have more trust in myself to handle this task, but it seems like fate has its mark set on you, and only you, for this job. What other choice do I have to get my memories back at this point anyways? Unfortunately, this is it. Once you retrieve the key from that fiend, I'll be able to restore proper order back to the world. And what then? Don't worry. I have friends on the outside that'll be able to help you back to your own world. Reclaim that key, and you can truly fix the timeline. I just want back what belongs to me. Interesting. The water seems to be reacting strangely to you. Or perhaps, something inside of you. Whatever it is, I hope it aids you well against the demon. While limited, I'll try my best to do the same for you from here.
What was that? Were those... memories? Uh, this light... This must be it. The gate to the key. I'm coming for you. <laughs>